Will the 2025 grade boundaries be the highest yet that we've ever seen? Well, this is something that a lot of you have been asking me, so I've taken it upon myself to do some research and some data analysis, and here's what I've come up with. Grade boundaries for 2024 were pretty high. Take a look. For A-level biology, you needed 74% for an A star, 63 for an A, 54 for a B, 44 for a C, 35 for a D, and 26 for an E. So how does this compare to previous years? Here's a pretty complicated graph that I put together, but let me talk you through it step by step, and let's see what that actually means for you as an A-level biology student taking your exams in 2025. The first thing it shows us is before COVID, the grade boundaries did go up every year. As there became more resources, teachers became more familiar with the new spec and so did students, we see the grade boundaries were increasing every year. But then COVID hit. And that's where we can see on the graph that the grade boundaries dropped for the November series of exams for 2020 and the November series in 2021. 2022, COVID had passed, but that year they gave topic lists and they told you which practicals were going to come up. And they gave a little bit of leeway with the grade boundaries as well. 2023, students did not have a topic list, but they were told that there would be some leeway with the grade boundaries. Basically, we can see if we compare it to pre-COVID times, it's not quite as high as it used to be, but it is higher than it had been in 2020, 21 and 22. So we start to see that pattern of the grade boundaries increasing again. And that leads us to 2024. This was the first year where there was no compensation for COVID. And that is why we saw that big increase in the grade boundaries compared to 2023. If you compare it to 2019, the last year of exams before COVID had any impact, it has actually only increased the same amount as it had done in previous years. So essentially, it was following the typical pattern of increased grade boundaries. So what does this mean the grade boundaries will be in 2025? Take a look at these tables. If we average the increase between in these non-COVID years, we can see how much the grade boundaries increased by between 2018 and 2019. We can see it did increase a lot by six or five marks for every grade. So I've averaged this increase and here's what I came up with the potential A-level biology AQA grade boundaries for 2025. Now this is an estimate based on data and patterns, but you must remember, boundaries shift slightly each year, and that's to account for differences in the exam difficulty and the cohort performance. 